Hello guys and welcome, this is I play 4K and today you're watching Witcher 3 The Wild Hunt running on crazy fast laptop that is equipped with the 2 GeForce GTX 1080 video cards and SLI. Yes, 2 GTX 1080 Pascal GP architecture and SLI Witcher 3 on a laptop. I'm going to show you 5K resolution uh maximum visuals then i'm going to show you 4k resolution and then i'm going to show you 1080p resolution unfortunately it's not possible 7k resolution or 8k resolution in witcher 3 on 2 gtx 1080 because the e gtx 1080 has 8 gigabyte of vram usage and we are going to be running out of our vram all right so pretty much this is going to be our settings guys motion blur is off blur is off anti-aliasing is off but everything else pretty much maxed out as you can see and uh, the graphics will be also maxed out guys I'm going to use the Nvidia hairs uh, off and on everything possible maxed out guys alright let's have a look shall we 5k resolution Witcher 2 GTX 1080 and SLI guys with the May 2017 drivers Keep in mind that this laptop was for sale back in 2016. This technology, but it, I'm recording the video in 2017. It's a Pascal GPU architecture, full GTX 1080. It's not the M version, guys. Look at that crazy FPS, about 40 FPS. I'm recording on the same laptop with this Shadow Play, which is the software that's recording my uh, game screen right now. It takes some processing power so please add 3 slash 5 fps to the uh, top center where it says the fps to get my fps without the recording such a beautiful game beautiful visuals check it out guys it's about evening unbelievable so 5k resolution beautiful scalability as you can see 99 percent gpu 1 gpu 2 99 percent it's my gpu usage or gpu utilization GPU scalability and the uh, CPU RAM second value 50% 48% is my CPU utilization or CPU usage all right guys pretty much laptop MSI GT 83 VR 7 RF Titan SLI gaming laptop beautiful gaming laptop I call it GT 83 VR or sometimes Red Dragon 710 SLI, 74 Core, 77 Generation, 7920HQ, which is beautiful CPU, highly overclockable. And today we're rocking, uh, rocking it overclock at 40 multipliers per core, which is 4 GHz or 4000 MHz per core. Absolutely amazing FPS, guys. So about 45 FPS, guys. This is the evening. A lot of FPS consuming as you can see a lot of shadows moving shadows and we still have crazy FPS all right let me go ahead and enable the Nvidia hair works real quick at 5k and then we're going to switch to 4k so graphics right here Nvidia hair works can go to Geralt but I'm going to go to on all the way usually it takes 10 FPS down let's go ahead and have a look shall we Wow 39 FPS still above 30 FPS guys 35 so it took like about 10 FPS down Here is kind of the same looking a little bit better reacting to the objects around it and to the to the air to the wind but pretty much Doesn't worse to enable it to lose 10 FPS all right guys so let me bring it back I'm going to disable it so we're gonna receive 10 FPS back and then I'm going to Switch the resolution to 4K now. Here we go. Back to 40, 45, guys, as you can see. Here we go. Beautiful dynamic smoke particles right there. FPS are so crazy, so much details that that 4K resolution, this is just amazing, guys. I mean, that 5K resolution. Check it out. They close up. It's just looking amazing and still about 40. FPS average very comfortable by the way no skipping no lagging you, you don't feel like it's running an SLI keep that in mind guys look at that crazy crazy visual this is beginning of the Witcher 3 the wild hunt oh yeah we're gonna fight this this crappy
Look at that. This animation, guys, we built it. It's not uh, pre-recorded. It's built on the game engine, so pretty much have, it's going to be used as a benchmark. This is what we're going to use. We're going to use it as a benchmark for a future comparison of the hardware. About 40 FPS. Excellent. How's it going? Yeah. Let's real quick and switch it to 4K now. But 5K lovers, you're going to enjoy, guys. Almost 60 FPS. Let's hope the 4K will bring us above 60 FPS. And um, we're going to be happy running it on a laptop, guys. The pros of this MS MSI GT83 VR 7RF Titan SLI laptop that is equipped with the 2 GTX 1080 is speed, speed, speed. And you're going to game with enjoyable frames per second but has a lot of cons and it depends to you guys if you want to purchase it for five thousand dollars or not cons is two power supplies bunch of cabling mass power supplies close to the uh, back to the trail like i said power converter unit which is bunch of cable mass then requires power two power outlets not comfortable in the airport or and you know in the hotel so it's kind of lack of the mobility it's kind of heavy and it's overheating you're gonna see my temperature will raise up very high as GPU 2 right now high but still it designed for that kind of high temperature but still very high temperatures per GPUs per CPUs it depends what kind of game you're running what kind of task you're running on this laptop right now the cooler boost is all the way on guys physically push the button on the keyboard so it's kind of noisy as well this is one of the cons as well it's noisy in the full room you're gonna feel it like almost like a hair fan light hair fan keep that in mind about 40 fps guys 5k right so let's go ahead and switch to 4k now and let's go ahead and have a look shall we and then 1080p and i'm going to show you why it's Bad idea to run two GTX 1080 in 1080p. And unfortunately, guys, this laptop is not equipped with the 4K resolution screen. Keep that in mind. Uh, it's only 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz, which is shame on MSI. But you can connect three 4K monitors to it into the 3D surrounding by A NVIDIA. Three 4K monitors I tested by myself and get about 7K resolution. Or one AK monitor to display port or three 4K monitors through the HDMI port, through the display port, and through the Thunderbolt. Crazy FPS 4K. Above 60 as you can see, way above 60, 70 FPS average without the recording is going to be about 75 FPS maximum visuals without the NVIDIA hair works on, but everything else maximum visuals, no anti-aliasing. Crazy, crazy FPS, man. Shadows and everything is during the evening with the maximum FPS. Shadows is running, guys. And it's still showing crazy, crazy FPS, guys, right here. So it's 75, 70 FPS. Let me go ahead and enable the NVIDIA Hairworks. Should take down about 10 FPS, but let's go ahead and have a look, shall we, guys? And I'm about to switch to 1080p, guys. So NVIDIA hair works all the way on. Let's go ahead and have a look, shall we? Okay, 60, 65. So it took about 10 FPS, 10, 12 FPS down. And the, the hair kind of looking almost the same. So there is not such a big difference. I would run it without the hair works. Let me put it back without it, run it a little bit more, and the switch to 1080p, guys, and show you why it's bad mistake by MSI engineers to equip this laptop with only 1080p monitor, 60 hertz, Bitcoin for this such a power. But anyways, running so smooth at 4K, guys. Guys at 4K with the 2 GTX 1080. An SLI laptop, any kind of laptop, MSI, Acer, Alienware by Dell, Razer, you're going to have a lot of fun, guys. Or even the desktop, 2GTX, 
1080 and SLI going to show you about similar performance founders edition plus minus 5 FPS that this laptop right now so keep that in mind so this video can be used as a multi-purpose video crazy FPS it's morning now and yeah I think it's time to switch but above 70 FPS average as you can see pretty much enjoyable experience especially if you're going to connect this laptop to a big HDMI 4K TV let's say 80 inch 60 Hertz you're going to enjoy the picture on that type of screen I'll buy a lot see all those details alright guys 1080p now and I'm about to wrap up so now we're gonna see why it's a big mistake to run uh, 2GTX 1080 at 1080p as you can see our GPU scalability at 5k and 4k was excellent we didn't waste any of our GPUs under the GPU 1 and GPU 2 let's go ahead and have a look at 1080p shall we oh my goodness look at that which are kind of jumping at 1080p here we go we're still at 4k I didn't apply the 1080p for us unfortunately let's go ahead and try it again Just come on it's kind of low resolution for our screen and everything that we're running right now so that's why it's confusing I think we gotta go to um, to put the Witcher in the can you please accept that please oops here we go we just cannot accept that guys so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to lower it to 2500. Let me try that. Here we go. And I'm going to go to window screen, window mode, then go 1080p, and then just having some issues to switch to that low kind of resolution. I'm running right now on one of the 4K screens. Come on. Come on. Here we go. 1080p, guys. Let me real quick and adjust the, um, the numbers for you. It's not going to be so gigantic. Alright, what's going on? Why I cannot enter the windows back into the windows there is an issues in case what's going on here we go um, let me real quick guys adjust the size so it's going to be readable not so horrible and uh, here we go let's get back to the game guys in the end of this video I'm going to show you some IDA information about this laptop here we go 1080p guys maximum visuals 150 FPS for those people with 144 Hertz 120 Hertz 1080p monitors or even 240 Hertz you're going to love this ASUS 240 Hz guys you're gonna love it 160 FPS average GPU utilization almost excellent by the way this is one of the game newer games that utilizing my GPU almost at the excellent level every other games will show you GPU scalability and SLI on 2GTX 1080 guys below 70 percent but this one is above 80 percent very excellent scalability I think it's amazing 140 FPS guys Plus, you can enable the anti-aliasing 
let me go ahead and real quick enable the Nvidia Hairworks and then I'm going to enable the anti-aliasing to see the difference maybe we're going to use our GPU at 99% with anti-aliasing and 1080 but this is with Nvidia Hairworks guys as you can see at 8 about 30 FPS from 140 to 120 20 FPS but pretty much hair is about the same so there is not such a big difference with well, Nvidia hair works 1080p guys beautiful scalability is excellent by the way with the hair works on above 90 percent so I'm going to disable the hair works now and I'm going to go ahead and have a look what if anti-aliasing is enabled how much performance we're going to lose I'm just curious here we go and post processing anti-aliasing anti -aliasing is on let's go ahead and have a look 130 120 we lost about guys what 7 fps for the anti-aliasing not not a, such a big deal uram use